Bienvenidos, welcome. I'm Nido Foodie and today I'm going to be preparing meatloaf. Audience participation comments should be, what, meatloaf again? Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, reference. So I'm going to be preparing meatloaf with some mesquite barbecue sauce and cooking it in my Weber barbecue grill outside with a little bit of mesquite wood. Uh, this is cheaper than if you were to go through and buy two quarter pounder meals at McDaniel's drive through uh, It'd be cheaper than that and definitely a lot better for you and uh, good to eat. So anyway with that, let's get started. So basically <clears throat> any of these ingredients you need to increase for a larger batch of uh, meatloaf. This is for 1.7 pounds. Seems like anymore you just can't buy one pound or two pounds. It's odd increment increments here. Uh, so basically this 1.7 pounds, it was $7.68. Uh, usually I do this with Roma tomatoes, but for some reason the Roma tomatoes are now like $2.50 a pound here. These are like $1.40 a pound. So whichever's cheaper in your area or whichever type of tomato uh, you prefer. So basically we got one egg and I forgot my fork so I'm not walking back to the house to beat that. This is willow so a little bit of aspirin won't kill anybody. And since it's less than two pounds of hamburger, we use one egg, one slice of bread, and basically two or more pounds I would go, two eggs, two slices of bread. So I'm gonna take the crust off of this. And if you want, don't wanna waste it, you can break it up and put it in there just the same. And the finer you can get this, the better. So with that teaspoon of granulated onion, about two teaspoons of minced onion, and usually my salt and my garlic I keep separate so I can keep track of the salt. So this one I'm just going to do about a teaspoon of garlic salt. So back to mixing this. I like to mix this all ahead of time so that way when I mix it into the hamburger I'm not over mixing the hamburger unless you're wanting to make enough to make uh, meatloaf sandwiches you could work it a little bit harder makes it a tighter loaf And with uh, the barbecue sauce, uh, I usually buy whichever is cheapest. And this Kraft barbecue sauce is on sale sometimes. Uh, three bottles for five bucks and I'll stock up on them. And since this is going into the hamburger, I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half. Or 
or whatever looks good. It looks pretty consistent. And with the prices being as they are, uh, you can still eat good with a little bit of work and in, uh, creativity. And I have about a quarter of a cup of uh, seasoned breadcrumbs I'm going to throw in on top of that. And this is just what I had. These are roasted garlic. While I'm mixing this up, uh, the tomatoes. Growing up as a kid, my mom would always, you know, I'm talking almost 60 years ago growing up, my mom would always tell my brothers and I how important it was that we eat tomatoes and on a daily basis. Well, at the time, I always thought that was just my mom's way of getting us to eat other things other than meat and potatoes. Well, I happened to look that up this morning, and actually, that is supported now, at least according to the internet, you gotta believe everything on the internet, that basically eating tomatoes, especially cooked tomatoes, helps with stroke, uh, brain usage, brain power, and reduces prostate cancer. Well, okay, so I guess mommy, mommy knows best, I guess. Uh, we just thought she was just trying to get us to eat our tomatoes. And if you want a stronger flavor of uh, barbecue sauce in there, you could always add more. But we'll be, I'll be adding more onto it uh, about 20 minutes into the cook. So, okay, that's ready to go. So, I'm not going to put this in like a bread pan loaf. Because it, it won't fill it up. But, I do not want a uh, hamburger patty. I want a loaf. And how I'm going to accomplish that is I'm going to mush that up. Bring it to one side and form the loaf. And here's where the tomatoes come in. Because if you didn't have a book end, this would flatten out as it cooked. So I'm going to fix that. And you can use peppers, about, you know, bell peppers, red green jalapenos basically sky's the limit on whatever you want to use and if you've ever had baked tomatoes they're like satin they're really good and basically these Hold it in place and keep it from spreading out as it cooks. And the nice thing about doing it this way, if you ever cooked a meatloaf and you filled the pan, then it ran over with the juices. That fixes that. 
And I'm gonna make this divot for later to hold the barbecue sauce after it gets cooking. So there it is, it's ready to go. I'm gonna get the coals going and we'll get this on an indirect cook. If you're doing it in the house, uh, 375 degrees for 40 minutes until you know it hits 170 degrees inside and uh, 20 minutes into it I'll add the barbecue sauce up on the top so there we go I'll get the coal started and uh, be back in a minute Now I want to cook this indirect, but I want 360 heat. So I have my pan in the middle with the cooking rock just to make sure all the coals stay around the outside. So I have my pan in the middle, just as a separator, I want to cook this indirect. But I want heat all the way around, as even as possible. So basically 360 heat. And I'm going to throw my mesquite in there, and whatever wood you have, or you prefer, use that. Basically, that will go right there in the middle. Just to let that start cooking, I'll come back in 20 minutes, add more onto the top, and also uh, add a little bit of beef broth to that that helps with the sticking on the bottom and the cleanup. So, put the lid on this I'll be back in a few minutes check temperature I want 375 uh, and then I'll be back in th uh, 25 30 minutes to check the temperature of the meat and we'll go from there well, our first 20 25 minutes So you can tell by the color of the onions, we're getting a pretty good smoke on it. So, might add just a little bit of beef broth. Kind of helps with the sticking. And the cleanup. So oh, I'm going to add a little bit more mesquite barbecue sauce just up on the top. And there we go. I'm going to cover that up and uh, set my timer again for another 20-25 minutes and uh, rotate this while I'm thinking about it. That's why we have cooking gloves when we're outside. And there we go. And uh, the tomatoes are cooking up good. Put the lid on this and we'll be set to go.
It's been closer to 50 minutes. So that's going to work its way up to 170. I like anything with hamburger to be well done. So we'll call that good. I'm getting hungry and it's halftime of the football game. So even with the hamburger, I'm going to let that rest and we'll see how much of that juice goes back into the meat the way they claim it does. I'm just going to cover that with tin foil. And give that 10 minutes, let that rest. You can serve this with uh, baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, any kind of Idaho potatoes. Uh, basically, I'm going to eat this with the onions and the tomatoes. Uh, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Uh, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate that. That motivates me. It's been two weeks uh, since my last video, but uh, we've had some uh, life events take place here in our community, which have uh, drawn my attention for the last couple weeks. Uh, but with, with meatloaf, you can have taco meatloaf, Italian meatloaf. It doesn't have to be boring. You could call this barbecue meatloaf, but you can do lots of things with it. Eat fairly inexpensive, but eat good. So anyway, I'm going to get cleaned up. I'm going to let this set for 10 minutes. We'll see how much of those juices go back into the meatloaf. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. Well, it's been about 10 minutes. Some of it's gone back in there still a little bit. And if you wanted to make potatoes, you could actually take that broth that's in there, add some flour to it, cook it up, and make some gravy out of it. But there it is, barbecued meatloaf with onions and tomatoes. And if you've never had baked tomatoes, boy, they're really good, something to eat. Uh, so anyway, thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for your comments. Uh, I appreciate it and hopefully life events won't get in the way and I'll be able to get videos out uh, on a weekly basis. So half time's about over and I'm hungry. This smells really good and I'm ready to eat. So uh, we'll talk to you later.